what would you do when he cheats on you <laughs> hello my name is Chengi. i am of Chengi of Chengi's world i'm here to teach you how to present as a high value high status high worth woman that men simply cannot live without totally irresistible absolutely adorable so what would you do if he cheated on you or you can say when he cheats on you what do you do okay so this video is not one of the most pleasant videos that i would want to do but the reality of it is infidelity is very much a part of the relationship spectrum is part of the landscape and there's so very little that we can do about it because we can't control the other person what we can do is control ourselves our responses and how we handle it okay so sometimes infidelity cheating might not necessarily be something that is sexual but maybe it's emotional maybe this person is having an emotional affair with somebody and it's still as painful because it is a betrayal of that which you are building and the connection that you have it's very painful it's horrible there is no pain in a relationship that is equally as bad as knowing that the person that you have been trusting and investing in and giving your love unconditionally to has not has been sharing it out with other people or has let a third party into that which is sacred and so i understand how hurtful and how terrible that is and i know that from first-hand experience and because it's happened more than once to me so i know that pain i know how terrible it is but i also know that feeling where you still love that person even though they've hurt you because the mindset around cheating and the and the society and the way that the world reflects upon it is the moment somebody cheats on you your heart must automatically stop loving them so what you have are your girlfriend saying wow well, you don't need it. you deserve better and they're giving you all of this stuff and you're hearing it and you're agreeing with it and you're like yeah right now i could like murder him or whatever but your heart is still connected to this person because you've built something um whether it's been a, you know six weeks six years six decades you've built something together you've established certain things together and you have trusted and you have invested and of course the assumption is to just throw him away and I'm sorry to have to say it, but I don't believe that ending a relationship is the only way to handle a situation where your partner has been cheating on you. There's certain circumstances that we need to take into account. Has this person been abusive? Have they been shagging every single person who will let them shag them in your life have they disrespected you because there's a different kind where the person has totally completely humiliated you slept with your sisters i know friends who their husbands have slept with their sisters their best friends they've i mean they have just you know and i don't blame that person for and i'll be the first to say this is not acceptable because this is a blatant disrespect and a lack of love and this person has become completely and totally abusive towards you however if you've been in a marriage had children and you find out that your husband shagged the secretary or has been having some little whatever on the side and that is all it has been now when i say all i know that is more than enough okay that is not excusing that but it's about weighing this situation this instance this shortcoming of your husband your partner your boyfriend compared to all of what they bring because your man is not just a cheetah that's not who they are they that's not the fullness of who they are they are your provider, your protector, the one that cherishes you, the one that shows up every day, the one that goes to war with you, the one that struggles through hard times with you. They are so much more than this instance. And to throw all of that away because of this instance is a bit of a shame. And this is where I would advise that at this point, 
you need to sit down and have a conversation because often people cheat because a there's a deficit on the inside of them and there's a brokenness on the end there's something wrong on the inside of them usually not a reflection of you this is their character flaw when things are not going well in the marriage they find an outlet they find another source another woman but sometimes with a lot of men that other woman is who's helping them stay in the relationship because they're going out there to sort of get their wounds licked and get their ego together so they can persist with the relationship that they have i know that rationale is crazy but that's what happens with a lot of single women dating married men don't realize that he's using her to just patch up where wifey's not together but he's not looking to leave wifey he's actually securing his marriage with wifey by dating you so if you want to know more about the cheating game i've got videos on this channel you can go and watch them but i'm talking about this instance in particular we're talking about what do we do now you can i recommend really talking sit down not with emotion but honey this is what's come to light this is what has become you know and right now i'm so hurt and right now i'm broken and disappointed in ways that i cannot even begin to imagine but i want to know what you want to do if you want to work on this relationship then we're gonna work on this relationship and i would tell you this without any hesitation you will need a third party intervention and best for it not to be family or friends unless you have somebody in your life that is that kind of wise where they can come in and never judge the other person but this is a point where i would go for cou for um, couples counseling or you could have couples coaching you know so there is help out there i work with couples i help couples through difficult situations and i'm more than happy to help you and your partner talk it through deal with the issues and set goals for the relationship that you do want to gather it is completely possible and we need to have that feeling and that spirit of perhaps we can get over this we can get past this and if you can't then you can't no judgment but just to let you know that it doesn't have to be the end and you don't need to feel ashamed that you want to work at it that you're not ready to let that person go however if this person is somebody that you keep finding keep forgiving keep finding keep forgiving keep talking to keep forgiving then this person is not and will never change this is who they are that is their nature they'll never be satisfied with one partner so you need to really find the courage within yourself to truly walk away because this is a pattern not an instance not a situation or circumstance that has happened within the context of a lot of relationship investment. I hope this video has been helpful. If you need more information, if you need more help, do contact me via my website and I'll book you in for a session and then we can talk about what it is that I can do to help you and strengthen your relationship. In the meantime, take care of you. I'll see you in my next video. Love you lots.